What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick off where we left off from last time, I'm using my force to attack the garrison here at Alexandria. So, let's kick off and take him out. So this was because I didn't want a... I want to maximise my gains per turn, in-game turn. So, because I wasn't going to fight anywhere else at that t uh, I wasn't going to fight anywhere else in the world in that game turn. I may as well attack, in, attack the Ottomans to the south and capture Cairo. Okay, so I'm going to trundle my artillery up to the... Actually, this might be might actually be the top of the hill. It is. Okay. So let's create a great line. This artillery's fire at will off. The howitzers can just deploy and fire. Quick climb. Split the cavalry up. I generally like to mix light and heavy. If I've got an imbalance, I want to put my light cavalry with my heavy cavalry. So we've got a lot of enemy cavalry. You guys instead hit their line infantry with quick line. So I'm going to use my light cavalry to try and bait the camels, because I need my heavy cavalry to hit the camels. No kills on the charge. You guys dump into square. Okay, let's ignore you guys then. Hello, there's Armenian archers here. Fire my, get my uh, artillery to fire at will. You guys dump into square. Good, they're starting to go down. Get my light cavalry, or my get my cavalry out of the way because right now they've got no safety blanket. Okay, heavy cavalry go in and hit the Mamelukes. These guys can get off square and form line. Although it looks like the Mamelukes are likely to break. You guys get out of square as well. Same with you, but over on this flank, I want you guys to be fire at will off. Because I want these guys to knock out their cavalry without being shot in the back. Get my regiment of horse out on the flank, because there's some bashy bazooks up to no good. Corner company to drop into square formation. My heavy cavalry can go after the camels. Actually, no. Just get out of the way. If they want to change, if they want to charge the square, then they're more than welcome to. So the left flank is folded. You harry them a bit. Actually, no. Just get you guys in, and you can go after their entrenched artillery positions. Switch some twitch to some shrapnel shot from artillery here and it start to focus on this cluster of troops over here. These Mamelukes will likely rout after they take a couple more shots. Yeah, there they go. Just 
Janissary Grenadiers have made it to the front line, so have my Nizam, but they've charged my Marines, which was a terrible decision. Actually, let's get my, my field artillery starting to engage. These chaps. He goes around the flank. Ooh, a quick climb, friendly fire. This Libyan light cavalry should not be long for this world. Kulogu. Come on, knock him out. So my heavy cavalry. No, actually, my heavy cavalry go for the Delhi horsemen. My light cavalry get over here to intercept some of the enemy infantry. Where's my general as well? You be very careful. Hey, the Bashi Bazooks came back. As I suspected. Try fight the Armenian archers. You guys are after the Delhi Horsemen. The Delhi Horsemen is their general. So now let's get you over here then. My general can go take out the Bashis. Nizam infantry is quite a good target. Stop all my artillery from firing to prevent anything stupid from happening, like like this friendly fire. Go for this twenty-four pounder because they're isolated. The horsemen are frantically reloading, but not in time. My regiment of horse chased down the grenadiers. Good, my cavalry regiment of horse are beating the Delhi horsemen. Damn right, continue. I'm gonna lose some cavalry maybe to those defences, but I'll go after this unit as they're a bit nearer. My general's gonna sort out the Bashi Bazooks. good stuff because the enemy will not disappear like when you attack an army that's built that's entrenched in a um, like a village attacking it they don't get destroyed well oh, they spread out you guys also go after them so now it's just my general after this full artillery. Oh, they're going to escape. No dramas there. We're not everyone against these three guys, and they're all going to escape as well because they spread out. But that was a decisive victory. So we've secured the port of Alexandria. For, for few losses, actually. New men. We put Cairo under siege. They do have more men on the way. But I might push these guys up here so they can provide some reinforcements to Enrico Castro. But I think, even though I've got, I do have lots of stuff here, that's everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we took St. Petersburg because they left it undefended. So what, what men are actually here? One Cossack unit. Okay, let's send... Actually, let's send these four infantry to chase down the Cossacks. You men march to Petrovskaya. Don't bother chasing them down. 
Finland's got good infrastructure. And they can continue to build men. You can't intercept anybody, neither can you. Well, there are men coming from the north, but the garrison will take care of them. Denmark, we've upgrading your college. We've upgraded, or well, we are going to upgrade this college here. Hanover's fortified, but then again, it's not really needed anymore. So this force is the one that can go here. So we've surrounded, surrounded Prussia. It's going to be a bit of a bloodbath. Let's see if, uh, who's Prussia allied with. I'm not allied with anyone. They're at war with Britain, but they hate us. Personally, I'd like them to march out and I could try and kill as many of them as possible crossing this river. But everyone else is... Let's break a cloth mill. Let's hold here. I'd like these armies to push these guys back before we move on Warsaw. Then we've only got to hold... Well, one army can stay south of the river. Two armies can hold this plane here. And I definitely want to stay defensive over here where the Swedes are. So I'm pouring men in <laughs> so that once one army is destroyed another can come in and then another can come in two more turns till we've got rifled cannons well, this is the last three techs we've got so two turns well the last four techs we've got uh she tried to mount the surrender of laval yeah may as well demand the surrender i mean they didn't really get a garrison anyway, so. Britain's still being sneaky. The Ottomans look like they're going to slowly start deploying more men to fight us down in Egypt. That's a lot of men on the way. We need Cairo, and we need to build a ring of defensive forts. <laughs> well, that could be pretty fun. Fortify the crap out of the uh, the narrow passage to get towards Cairo. Just fill it with forts. Do I want to intercept? Yes, I think I probably do. It draws everyone else into the fight. Although it's my knackered army. But then again, that's not a bad thing necessarily. Um, at the very least, my army that's already depleted is suffering more depletion, and my fresh army is actually in pretty good shape. Well, I think what I'm probably going to do is build a series of forts on the Egyptian frontier, and fill them full of armies specialised at defending, so that every time they try and push me, I can intercept them near a fort and break them, before they even get to Cairo. Okay, so guns down. Four infantry on one flank. A gun out here. Okay, let's slightly kink you guys back. These men could be out on the flank there. You guys can get out, can be on the flank of this position, although, right, probably one. You guys there, these marines here, you guys can kind of hold the town against any flanking troops. Drop our howitzers in as normal. Cavalry. Grip my regiment of horse. Oh, okay, right. This could get a bit funky. Although some of these reinforcing armies aren't very big, so let's take you guys and run over to here. Run this cavalry or get this cavalry over here because those these are quite some, some quite small units as well. Oh, 
Yeah, let's get my that cavalry in there. Regiment of horse. These ours are hidden, so just go get up there quick. The camels have routed. The Armenian archers, small units of guns. They're going to get an annoying volley into my heavy cavalry. Oh, no kills. Mounted Nizam. Bless him. Yeah, there we go. Those Azars thought they could hide. The archers are raining fire. Let's begin to form our new, new defensive line. The Mamelukes have charged us. The Regiment of Horse are cutting up the Azars over here. There we go, you men push up against that last unit of, unit of infantry over there. Should you hit the unit of Azars because it looks like they're using their range against us. In which case you just stop firing. I may sacrifice my cavalry in this fight, but by God we'll take a lot of their men with them. spread these men out a little bit better. There we go, you a bit more like that, and you guys a bit more like that. Yeah, they can't help it, they're coming in. Square. You men come around like so. Hmm, they're after artillery, eh? They can have it. It's only bog standard howitzers. after my field artillery actually. It's a bit of a surprise. If you could tag them that'd be great. Because then these men can run in. And I can get Mr. Defendi out of there. Okay, you guys form lines again. Cavalry storming in. I suppose the howitzer should pivot around to try and hit some of these chaps. Hey. 
heavy cavalry, eh? Storm them in over here. Run my general around this fight against the Mamelukes just to make sure A, we get the buffs, but also so you guys change targets to go hit the Mamelukes. Yeah, these Mamluks are going down. You guys pivot to go hit those Mamluks. Get this cavalry to go hit the guns to the rear. Push everyone up. Actually, you could probably hit the Nizam. In which case, let's stop our howitzers from firing at all. Just to buy some time. Although I might actually run my light coverage to go hit the 24-pounders. Get my heavies to come in and fight. Actually, no, don't get my heavies. Don't get anyone to fight in the Nizam. They're about to get shot to bits. Devils. They're still, well, they were still keen to charge my cavalry, but they've been knocked out. Okay, you guys stop firing. I think that's everyone except for the artillery. Let's speed up time. Although, I thought it was everyone. Look at that. There's always got to be one. Those Nizam have been killed. My general over here should be able to knock out these Armenian archers. These guys are like will likely route as soon as we get within range to drop some uh, fire by rank on them. I'm gonna gain engaged by artillery at long range. Now they've realised. They're marching in column. They're cutting them down like a French column. Beautiful. I'm going to continue just in case. Because ultimately these guys aren't... No, they're not very far away from the... From the border. Nuts. Oh well. They've run away right into the corner. <laughs> yeah, my good force did get drawn into that combat, but we didn't lose very many men, and they lost nearly everything they got, except for obviously that full stack. <laughs> so let's see how Russia responds. It would be nice to land a force and hit Crimea. Hmm. They're marching up near St. Petersburg. They're not going to let me have that for free. But I better get used to it because uh, they're about to experience a whole world of hurt. Looks like they're trying to... Well, they're definitely shifting over to the 
southeastern edge of my front, which I'll take because it means I can push through the centre and in the north as well. Oh. Beware Russians in the ports. Good. They're, everyone's fallen back east of Warsaw, which is good because it means we can push up and take it. I mean, you can go for the city if you like. It would make it a much less complicated issue when it comes to uh, destroying their army, if that was the case. Ooh. Yes, go on. So we can repulse these two chaps east of Warsaw. Now we can capture a major frontline city. Then we can also, well next turn, we can sail our armies around and land into, uh, land into the, land in the high north and blow a hole in the Russian northern flank. From which, from which they will never recover. Oh, lovely artillery. Beautiful. So. Let's create one flank. This isn't a great position for a set of guns, but it will, it'll do. Just make sure they're all deployed nice and level. Uh, this will do because uh, we will, well, any buildings in the way will get uh, destroyed. <laughs> Haven't got to worry about generating that field of fire. Your artillery will generate it for you. There we go. And a nice and elite left wing. And we've got four units of cavalry. Good for chasing if we get the opportunity. Then drop down all my howitzers. General in the centre. Now let's burn powder. Go afraid, sunny boy. Your artillery doesn't stand much of a chance. Heavy horse guard artillery is excellent. Although you know that because you've got your own horse guard artillery. Okay, I might take this flank. Push them up like so. Deploy my households. Not oh, they've been repulsed anyway. Get my regiment of horse out on the flank with my households. Shrapnel is start some of the shrapnel shot is bursting prematurely. Shrapnel. No matter. Yeah, their cover is going to get stopped. My marines will hold them. These guys can pour some excellent fight. The dragoons have dismounted. Guys, out here on the flank. This cavalry is trying to counter charge them. Let's let my 70th regiment shoot first. Go on, attack them. You guys take position in the town.
pivot this flank push my cavalry forward because it looks like there's a regiment of horse attempting to try and get up to no good okay this unit needs to round shot and then you guys need to push up attack the regiment of horse Okay, you guys are fighting on that front, front, so where's my heavies over here? Okay, good. Come on, break the Vibionia Strudzi. Looks like we have. So let's get ready to fight, fight this regiment of horse. You guys engage. Broke the cavalry on this flank. And you guys go hit the 23rd regiment of horse. We've got Dragoons that have dismounted. You men are not firing. Okay, there we go. They've sorted themselves out. And the cavalry on the left flank. Doing pretty good. We're chopping away at their troops. Far too much infantry around, really, to do too much with my cavalry. You guys kind of shot the Simonievsky foot guards. Oh, it's a dangerous canister shot there. Not canister shot, quick line shot. Let's push out my infantry. These guys switched around shot, engage someone to the rear. We've taken out their regiment of horse, which means this axis, this valley, is now clear for our troops. Okay, let's straighten our line up out, our line up a bit. Ah, they surprised us with some general's bodyguard. Let's get my regiment of horse actually to go mobile. And try knock out that artillery. You can go after snipe the 29th. My artillery can now run rampant in the rear. Quick and devastate the 22nd foot guards. General's bodyguard has been killed. Focus the artillery fire on the right flank because that's where most of their troops are now concentrating. Yeah, our cavalry's poured into their flank. I mean, one of you, yeah, I wanted some of these guys to hit their mortars. Okay, let's change our artillery targets to try and be more battlefield. Battlefield wide. Well, not battlefield wide, but you know. Okay, you hit the 5th Grenadier Regiment. Yeah, they know they're onto us. Okay, the artillery engage the Dragoons. deploy my cavalry to come and chase down these scallywags deploy my infantry even further up in their face over here to start to attack some of these routed troops. Definitely want to kill the foot guards. Okay, the marines, you better charge that infantry before you make contact so you get some sort of charge bonus. Switch our artillery over to round shot and get them to drop fire onto the 84th. You charge onto the 
47. You guys can finish off the, the Simonyevsky foot guards. You guys can fight the Dragoons. Get the Howitzer on the far left to engage the Dragoons here. Yep, their infantry is falling. Let's bring my cavalry back. You guys chase down the foot guards. Get my artillery to engage these garrison guards to the rear. You position yourself ready to fight this Russian line infantry. Those look like a grenadier unit. Yep, it is. So these guys hold steady. Let's actually get my. Oh no, okay, they can't actually get the distance if they don't use the canister shot. I'll send one unit to charge the garrison guards just to tie them up. Because we've got some men we'd like to kill. Okay, so you run through the middle and chase down some of these units. Ah, too bad they routed. Focus all the artillery on this remaining unit, the 84th. Push up my men aggressively. Cavalry run. You have to run around them like this. Chase down the riflemen. You men push up to threaten the garrison guards so they have someone to shoot at that's not my rampaging cavalry are they wavering charge my cavalry and see if I can make them rout yes I can hold all my artillery fire and your musketry. General, get over here. Come, we've got four riflemen right here. You can kill them easy. I think you already have. So chase down those horse artillerymen. You guys chase down that line of infantry. You guys chase down them. Probably not going to kill all the cavalry, all the infantry there, but I think that's apart from these grenadier guards, not grenadier guards, these garrison guards. Damn right, we're going to continue. Too bad we didn't get as many of all of these guys as we'd like, but there, yeah. I'll take some damage over none. At least. Phew. Wasn't a close victory, but what this has bought us is that we've defeated both of these armies. They'll both fall back to the east. Good. So then we can push up and put Warsaw under siege. Then we can put Warsaw under siege, and that's quite a good frontline territory secured. These, these guys are running around our infantry. Oh, the Swedes come in. This is going to be a mighty defensive battle. Like I said, I don't want to attack them. I want them to attack me. I don't want to have to go anywhere. I want them to have to march at me into the barrels of my guns. Okie dokie, so. This army, I'm going to Mario Torcelli. Put Warsaw under siege. 
We can reinforce them with this army. This force can move over here. As can you, most likely. Should have raided a university, really, I think. Just to cancel or halt any of their uh, research. We'll just sit there. So now they, they can't ever repair that university. So these chats might attempt to circumvent our defensive line by attacking this fort. But then again, they might just be off to raid. So you hold position there. That's good. Okay, so navy. Move a sloop out. Salpare. Army embark. Signore. Sia fatta la volontà. Embark the, the agent. So then the sloop can't get there in one turn. But if I can get them both north of Norway, I can deploy a fleet to protect them. And let's take this sloop out. Get the Edinburgh force. You embark as well. Let's also take a priest. Let's sail this third rate, Forza, to also land at Archangelsk. At which point, then. This sloop can go back into Newcastle. I mean, these are only fourth rates. But I think what might be good is to combine these fourth rates with this small fleet here, and then just button up these ships here in case they fancy their chances. Now oh, they've intercepted it. I'm definitely not going to fight it because I don't want it. <laughs> good job. <laughs> good job I didn't. I don't think I'd have beaten that. Because I suck. Okay, so that plan to bottle them up didn't work. I, I don't really want to move this fleet to do it. But I suppose I'd better. If I drop them up here, the, no ships would be able to pass through this channel without being intercepted by my fleet. Perfect. Does give them some options. Okay, let's move you out of the way. Because when I send these guys in, I don't want to uh, attrit Leon Piassi. Right, let's just keep pushing those Cossacks out. It looks like the Russians are coming. <laughs> uh, they're not going to take our capture of St. Petersburg lightly, so let's start to... Build up some infantry to act as a sort of a garrison if we decide to push out, which we will. Then down here, you are actually pretty damn close. So what have you got? What do you need? Steal this 24-pounder. Let's take this sloop here. You guys might actually go occupy Thessaloniki. So this force here, you can embark, and then sail, well if I move my fleet out of the way, sail to Crimea, which is left undefended, so let's demand the surrender. If there's no garrison in there, you may as well just demand the surrender. Well, that's caused you a bit of a problem, hasn't it, Russia? <laughs> Sweet. Let's move my fleet back over here. And then down here is where we've got to do some more fighting. Let's fight. Let's attack the city of Cairo because we want to t capture it, build walls, and start spamming out infantry and build a load of forts here. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Cairo! 
Cheers, everyone.